Something totally different, a Legionnaire's disease outbreak in the South Bronx section of New York City. Contaminated cooling towers found to be the problem. 46 people sick and two are dead. Dr. Mark Siegel is here with this outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. I thought that had gone away forever. No, we actually have about 10 to 20,000 cases a year in the United States. 10 to 20,000? In the United States. Good Lord. We've Ooh. had over 2,000 so far since January. What happens is this tiny bacteria hides in cooling systems. It's in the water inside air conditioners, and it, it, it gets harbored in there. Now, it's not contagious in the way you might think. I can't cough it on you. Okay. I can't sneeze it on you. But you can get it from drinking water, and it especially hits smokers and those with chronic lung disease. And it can get you very sick. You can get high, pneumonia from this. You can get in the eye, intensive care unit from this. Mm. You can die from this. Okay, Antibiotics got, treats it. I remember back in the day, I think it's probably the late 70s, actually, when there was an outbreak yeah. at a Legionnaire's convention. Yes. Uh, many people got sick, and it was in a hotel. And the, how did you get this? So there was a, almost a panic. How do you get this? But you're saying, I can't get it off you or you from me. But you can get it from an air conditioning system or right. a cooling system. It looks like what's going on in the Bronx is dispersed meaning that there are isolated sporadic cases, not like what you just said, that a bunch of people in a convention center all get it. Then you start to really get concerned about now, it. But, you, but it is, it's got to be tracked, this outbreak in the Bronx. Yes, but antibiotics can treat it and kill it, right? Right, and we tend to use antibiotics like Cipro, Levaquin. Those are the ones we use, Erythromycin, Zithromax, well, Zithromax, uh, are Zithromycin. These the, are these the new generation, very powerful antibiotics? Well, the erythromycin's been around for a really long time, but the ones we're using now are more effective. But again, you've got to catch it early, get the person in the hospital, treat them for pneumonia if, what the, is, if that's what they have. This is a very, very serious infection. Okay, it's a serious infection, but I can't get it off you or you from me. See, that's what, that's what downgrades the seriousness of yeah. it. I'm not going to walk around the streets of the South Bronx, for example, no. and get it. That's no, not going to happen. No, but if you were in the center in the South Bronx where one of these cooling systems is, mm. they're right. Public health is right to be checking now every cooling system sure. in the Bronx because it can spread from air conditioner to air conditioner uh, rather, oh, than from, rather than from person to person. Huh. It spreads what, via cooling systems. Not so it can spread from air, air it can, conditioner to air conditioner within the same building. Yes, and but you it get can get events, and it, it can get into vents. But it can spread from one building to another, can it? I know this is getting stupid, no, but no, it but can't do that. No, no, it can't yeah. spread. It can, it's not crawling along the concrete, <laughs> but it but it is in the cooling systems. Uh, what happens to you when you get Legionnaires disease? Ah, yeah. uh, well, you get headaches, you get diarrhea, you get coughing, you get fever, you get fatigue. You get high fever. Is it a bug in your lungs? that? Uh, Absolutely. It's a pneumonia, it? but it, it parades through the body, especially for people with chronic diseases, especially for smokers. Okay. Smokers really have a problem because you could drink some water and then a smoker coughs it up. It gets into the lungs. That's how you get Is very, this very only sick. In and we miss this. By the way, Ashley, we miss yeah. this thing. We're not testing for it. We're not thinking about right. it. Doctors tend to miss this, and that's when somebody gets very sick. Am I a danger in my home air conditioning unit, or is this just big commercial buildings? Bigger commercial buildings. Right. Your home. Well, I haven't been there lately. <laughs> your, your, your home is probably it's safe. Right. <laughs> is, his home sta is his home safe? I think it's, it is. Reassurance yes. from Dr. Siegel. Only in right. isolated areas. It's not going <laughs> to get you unless you're in the South Bronx right now. And even if you are, you're probably safe on the street. Oh, doctor, I feel better already. Thank you very much indeed. Siegel, thank you very much, sir. All right.